Hello everyone, thanks for subscribing and welcome to another episode of The Urban Gardener. Today I've been waiting for for several months now. We are going to finally get to harden off the peppers. We're going to talk a little bit about this pile of soil. We'll plant those pepper plants out and get them up onto our rooftop. So first, let's get in and get those peppers hardened off. Look, we got them all out, we set into a nice, shady, sunny spot in the yard. And they'll spend one hour out here today, just like we did with the tomatoes. We'll move into two, two to three hours tomorrow. We'll go to four, four to six hours the next day, depending on how well they take these first two days. And then from there, like I said, we'll just kind of go with it five, six days or so, progressively getting longer and into the night as well until they go overnight into a full day. All right, we got day two. We are doing just a little bit of shade, a little bit of sun, kind of a mix just for a couple of hours and back in under the lights out on the third day I moved them up just a little bit more here starting them out in the shade and within this next hour the Sun will be fully on them so they'll have had about two hours of shade and now I'll give them about a couple hours in the Sun and then move on to the next day doing pretty good so far though we do got just a little bit of burn on one of our leaves here but that's about it here we are next day and they are really Starting to enjoy the sun. <laughs> you can see in the back there's some with a little bit of leaf wilt and whatnot because the sun's really on them pretty good, but there's been a lot of new leaf growth actually that I noticed just in the last couple days that we've been doing this, so these guys are gonna be doing really well. Just like with the tomatoes as we did in the tomato episode when we were hardening them off what we will be doing here is letting them sit out like I did here into the evening to also start to harden off to the cooling of the night tomorrow night we'll spend the whole night outside and the whole day afterwards finish off our hardening off process and a day or so after that we'll be planting them out into their uh, locations around the garden most of them heading up to the rooftop let's go check on these peppers after their first night out all night and into the day i don't know i have to say wow they are looking all right a couple of leaves have flipped over not having it a little bit but for the most part we're looking really nice we'll have to see how we go as we get through a very full day of sunshine we'll check this evening and after that we'll start planning okay these guys have been out here now actually for a couple of days. Been enjoying some full sun. 
only a couple of leaves are really not enjoying it too well. A little bit of sunburn. We're not gonna worry about that. We've got a lot of new strong growth coming out of these guys. So these guys are ready to get into their pots and to get up onto the rooftop. What are you mean about, bud? What's going on, bud? You just want some attention? Is that it? Do you just want some attention? Huh? All of our peppers are finally hardened off after the last several days. We've had them out and now they're ready to get planted out. I did, however, because on the Urban Gardener we love time lapses so much, put together one that goes over the chore that I had to do that I left with on the last episode with the five gallon water wicking systems. I had like 50 some buckets that I needed to take care of and break down to like, I think it ended up uh, 27 final bucket systems. So that was quite the little chore. Put together this time lapse. We'll get back together here in just a moment and talk about that soil. And then um, we'll plant out these peppers and get them up on the rooftop. As you all may have seen in previous vlogs, I do have this big pile of soil here that we will be using to plant out our peppers in our water wicking bucket systems. Just kind of wanted to go over the soil with you for you just a moment. Um, I do just basically use a mix of regular topsoil you can get at your garden centers. It's very inexpensive. Um, this is a 11 pound or five kilogram brick of coco coir. I have a link above to where I have a segment where I show you how I break that down. We add that as well as the topsoil and an organic planting compost that I source locally here in my area. So it's good to locally source a lot of your products if you can. This one here I get from a local garden center. I also add in some of this paver sand, a regular uh, playground sand that you can get at your garden centers as well and for drainage we also put in some of this perlite here okay now I mix in I would say you take a for each say five gallon bucket of the perlite I would use a, maybe about say five bags of the regular topsoil with a brick of the cocoa coir and a bag of the locally sourced organic compost and I'd say maybe half that bag of the sand that's probably what I would use generally for this mix however that's just generally I mean soil mixes can vary in many different forms you'll see lots of different videos and you can look up lots of different videos on making a good planting soil mix for yourself um, this is just what I use here. I also add some of that uh, organic, organic uh, fertilizer as well to that. And also as we plant in our uh, pepper plants, I will be putting in some of this here, which is worm castings. 
So as we put in each one of our plants into our bucket systems, we will be adding a handful or so of those worm castings into each one of those for each one of the plants. Okay. Our pepper plants are all ready to be planted out. We've got our soil all mixed up. So let's get these five gallon bucket systems filled up, plant out those peppers. I want to remember when you're planting these out is you got a net pot down in the very bottom. Pack the soil nice and tight into the net pot before you go about filling up the bucket with the rest of the soil. All right, let's fill these up. So now we've got our buckets about three quarters of the way full of the soil. What we're gonna do is just give them a nice deep hole there in the middle. bit of our fertilizer just as we did with the tomatoes. Mix that in. One of our pepper plants here, really nice uh, cayenne pepper plant. Um, I'm going to kind of just remove a couple of these lower stems. And one of the things on this pepper plant, I don't know if you can see right here, it's already starting to put out flowers. At this stage of growing our peppers, we don't want any flowers yet. So if you have any plants and they got flowers on them at this point, just go ahead and pop those flowers off. Okay? So we're going to take our plant now. And really kind of massage it out of that cup. It's been in there for several weeks now and you do got roots coming out of the bottom here. You want to be very careful with not try to tear them up too much as you're pulling it out of the cup. Yes. There, another nice strong root system. It's not bound at all. It's already just kind of be teased out a little bit. a little bit get it down into the pot now tomatoes you can bury up and keep burying them and keep burying them they'll continue to root uh, grow roots anywhere any of their stems are put into the ground now peppers you can bury them up approximately about I'd say three quarters of an inch or so um, in each transplant but no further than that I mean they will produce roots up the stem as it's buried and transplanted. So we will bury this one down, like I said, about three quarters of an inch. Okay. So our plant's buried in there now, and like I said, we're going to add nice handful or so of our worm castings. Right around in there and I'm going to mix it right into the top. We'll add just a little bit more of that fertilizer. And mix it into the top a little bit there. So one of the other things that we're going to do, because these are going to be right up on a hot rooftop, the buckets are white, which should reflect the light as well, pretty good. So what we're going to also do is I'm going to add approximately an inch of perlite to the top of the soil there as a kind of a mulch 
to help keep the uh, moisture at the top level. Okay. should provide a really great layer of protection for the top of the soil for the plant there. Okay, so now we've planted out one of our pepper plants. I've got several more to go ahead and do. A couple hours later, I've got the uh, plants all planted out into their containers, and as you can tell, we really broke that soil pile down. Now, one of the things I wanted to say was, you know, I kind of reference uh, gardening and the gardening season sometimes like a baseball season. Um, lots of hits and misses, you know, um, and after, for me, a couple of uh, rookie seasons in growing uh, peppers, I have to say that maybe I'm exuding a little bit of early season confidence right now, but I think everything's going really, really well this year. Let's take a look. I am really kind of confident in some of these plants. I hope that they will do really, really well. We do got them all planted out. Around 20 different varieties of peppers there. A couple of them are uh, doubles. We did have extras to put out. We selected out what I thought was the best out of each variety. And we do have other places around the garden where we'll be putting out these peppers. And uh, so we'll be selecting uh, many more of them as we get going along here in the next uh, day. I'll probably go out and do that. I don't think... I'll be seeing maybe next year on these guys. This season, we might may actually make the playoffs. All right, now let's get on with the fun part. Get them up on the roof.
Okay, so we did get all of the pepper plants all planted out into our containers and put out onto the roof here. We got them all watered in. And one thing too I did want to mention was before I put them in, I was glad I thought about the watering before packing them all up onto the roof with all that extra weight. So that was one thing. I was really kind of glad I thought about that before I started that whole project. But we got them up here. Let's go take a look around here. We got a couple of rows going for this side here. And as you see, we got the uh, PVC pipes coming through the middle there. Whereas we will have a water line bringing water lines to each one of those pipes. And we'll come around and come around this side too. And we'll have a little quarter inch water lines going into those there. So all the peppers are looking really well. Just a couple more days. Another week, maybe even or so, those roots will start reaching down towards the bottom of the pots. And we will then be able to continuously feed them through the pipes there. Even though it was a bunch of hard work to get that project done, we finally got it finished. It was really fun getting all those plants planted out and now put out onto our rooftop. We do have several more of those pepper plants that will be getting planted out into the rest of our gardens here in the next day or two. Um, I will keep you updated with those. We'll check on those in an upcoming episode as I do another tour. But if you can, give this video a thumbs up. And if you have any questions at all or anything, hit me up in the comment section below. If you can, subscribe to the channel, and we'll see you again next time on another episode of The Urban Gardener. So we got, I love saying all right, so it's just a good way to get some, get into something, right? All right, as you can tell, we're finished. <laughs> oh, see, I keep doing it. I'm forbidding. <laughs> all right, let's try that again.